Hello everybody, what is going on? Welcome to another Python 3 tutorial video. In this video, we're going to be talking about FTP lib. So if you're coming from matplotlib, I misspoke. It's not subprocess. We've already covered that. Uh, it's FTP lib. So what are we going to do with FTP lib? Well, we're going to use FTP, which is File Transfer Protocol. Um, so the idea of FTP is so you can transfer files to and from uh, a remote server. Now today, um, I wouldn't necessarily suggest that you use FTP. A lot of shared hosting uses FTP and you can't even disable it. Um, but FTP is not really the most secure way or the safest way to transfer files. So if you have like highly sensitive information, you should probably be using SSH um, and encrypting everything. Um, but FTP is still definitely used today. It's pretty popular. Um, you can even use SFTP, which is like secure F FTP. Um, but anyway, a lot of people still are using FTP, and if it's just something like, like a basic transfer that you're just trying to initiate, uh, FTP lib is actually a really great uh, thing to use uh, with Python. So with that, let's go ahead and get started with FTP lib. So it's going to be kind of hard for me to show you guys FTP lib just simply because you have to fill in like a lot of credentials to FTP lib. But I'm just going to show you an example that is a working example, and feel free to fill in your own credentials, but I'm not going to show any credentials in this video. So anyway... Uh, what, first what we want to do is from FTP lib import capital FTP and what this is doing is FTP lib is part of your standard library you don't have to download anything and then we're importing just a part of FTP lib so then what we're going to do is we're going to just under case FTP equals FTP and then in here you're going to put uh, domain domain name dot com so whatever your domain name is that's what you put in there then you want to institute a, a login. So we're going to say FTP uh, dot login. Oops, FTP dot login. Um, and then you're going to want to say user equals uh, username. And then you're going to say passwd equals whatever your password is. Then uh, once you've done that, so a lot of people, if they, for a specific domain name, it's going to. Uh, bring you into exactly that domain name so the home directory of that or the root directory um, if you have shared hosting say you have like 15 domain names when you first connect even if you choose this domain name here if that's your main uh, domain name or actually not even if that's your main domain name really a domain name just translates to an IP address so when you connect to that IP address you're gonna connect to the root directory unless this FTP user does not have access and then they might they might connect to their specific directory um, but if this is a user that has access to everything, you're going to connect actually to the root directory despite what domain name you type in there. So generally the next thing you might need to do is ftp.cwd for change, or well, I guess current working directory. I was thinking as far as change, but you can change it. But cwd I think officially stands for current working directory. So you can specify those cwd, and maybe in this case it actually does say, mean change working directory. Anyway, moving on. Um, now you can specify a specific uh, domain um, or location. So you might also want to specify uh, slash var slash www slash um, you know whatever in there. So if you're let's say you're uploading web files, so uh, that's what you might need to do. You might not need to do that. So just obviously everyone's. Uh, specific scenario might be a little bit different there but that's how you can change it if you need to now I want to specify we're gonna create a couple of functions here the first function generally you're gonna do one of two things you're gonna send a file or you're gonna receive a file okay so first let's talk about taking a file so we're gonna say define grab file and grab file is gonna say uh, first we need to know what file what's the name of the file that we want to grab so we're gonna say file name equals um, file name dot file in fact, let's say file.txt just so people don't think you have to add dot file there. Um, and then you want to specify where um, where do we want this file to go. So the way that we can do this is we can say local file equals open uh, file name and then open with the intention to wb. So now uh, what we're going to say is ftp.retar binary. And then we're going to make a little bit of a command here, and it's going to be red r, so retrieve, and then plus the file name, okay? And then you want to specify the uh, where it's going, and it's local file dot write, 
And then finally, we're going to specify the buffer. Um, 1024 is fine. You really can use probably even up to like 40, 60, whatever. But we'll use 1024 for now. Um, so 1024 will be good. And then whenever you're done, you always want to do ftp.quit. And then finally, we also need a local file dot close to close the actual file here. Okay. So uh, let's run through this one last time. We've made a function. It's called grab file. This is grabbing the file from the remote server. We specify the name of the file we want to grab, and we're kind of doing that first, just because we we want the name of the file on the server to be the same name that it is when we've grabbed it. But you could change these if you wanted. So then we're saying the file name is that. Local file, we're specifying we're going to call it that same file name we're opening with uh, WB. And then we're saying FTP, retrieve. And then we're saying we want to retrieve plus the file name that we want to retrieve. So this is remote. And then what we would specify next is local thing that we want to do. And we're going to do local file dot write. And then this is just the buffer. So how fast do we want to, or how much data do we want to transfer at any given time is basically what buffer is. Then when we're all done, we want to be able to, we want to close that connection. We don't want to leave that connection open. And then we want to close the file because, again, it's just like a connection. You don't want to leave that file open. Otherwise, you won't be able to modify it again later. Um, so that's grabbing files by FTP. Now we can say define place file, empty parameters. And again, uh, this one's a little easier, but we're still going to have file name. And the file name will be file name text. And then also what we're going to do now is we don't actually really need to do local file necessarily, but we can do ftp.store binary. And what we're going to do here now is store space plus the file name. And actually, let's see here. We've cheated. Let's change these to under case for now. Otherwise, the script actually wouldn't have worked. I would have lied to you guys. Store plus file name. And then open file name. Uh, and then RB here. And then uh, we'll do ftp.quit. OK, so, so what we've done, this is our remote file, local file. How are we doing it? We're storing binary. What? Uh, what? What is it? It's gonna be store, and then the file name that we've specified, which is file name.txt, and then open uh, file name. We're reading binary here into uh, the store binary, and then we're storing it basically uh, as the file name that we specified. Okay. So uh, again, we we can grab a file uh, with the following here, and we can place a file with the following here. And that's really it. That's all you have to do. And let me just look through here one more time. Since I didn't, I'm not actually running this uh, because this is all invalid data here. Um, but this should act. This should run. File name. File name. Text. File name. Text. Local file. File name. Yeah. And anyway, so this is how you can read uh, or grab files and place files from a remote server or even really a computer if you've got FTP on there. Um, so that's, that's all there is to it. It's actually not, not too complex. So if you guys have any questions or comments, or maybe if I did screw something up here, uh, let me know. Um, yeah. So anyways, uh, that's it. Uh, that's all I really want to show with FTP lib. Um, so as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and subscriptions. And until next time.